All right, guys, we are getting all set up for our first trip out on the boat. I've got a couple more things to do with the trailer, and then we're gonna get out on the water and try it out for the very first time. I just wanna make sure we float, there's no leaks. I just need to verify all the work I've been doing for the past year is how it should be. Wish me luck, we'll see how it goes. I'll catch you out on the water. Okay guys, we're back in the garage. What a day. Oh, I cannot tell you how awesome this boat worked today. First impressions are everything worked great, honestly. Everything I anticipated worked the way it should. All the parts functioned, the motor, beautiful. I think I even have room to raise it down a little bit. That jack plate is working so well on the long shaft motor. Honestly, everything, I'm like in disbelief. I'm a little overwhelmed, a little exhausted, but I'll give you guys a really good summary and story once I get myself settled down some. All right, guys, well, the first trip was a massive success. I came home a little exhausted and really sunburnt, so I didn't end up recording any after trip videos, but I'm heading back out today to continue all the testing. The first time out, Everything honestly worked beautifully. I didn't have any glaring issues that needed to be fixed. There's a couple things that I'm monitoring to see if there's any changes that need to be made. But in general, I'm really happy with how everything performed. Uh, one of the first things I wanted to take a look at was the motor mount over here. Um, I did get a little bit more vibration into the hull than I expected, but when I got home, I was able to tighten up every single bolt on the whole jack plate setup here. So my guess is that through installing this while it was cold and warming up, cooling down, things like that, things loosened a little bit. So I made sure to go ahead and tighten this all up really tight. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna handle today. A couple other things I wanted to check out today was the tachometer. I'm doing a video specifically on how to install and use a tachometer for your outboard. So that's gonna give me some great feedback on how the motor is running in its current setup. Um, something that I'm debating is whether or not the motor needs to rise up or down at all. It feels pretty good. I'm able to get on plane. We're getting about 25 miles an hour. Um, that's about what I expected for a 25 horsepower with this kind of setup. But I did notice that I only have a very small amount of room to trim up on the motor. That most of the time I'm running this completely trimmed down unless I'm completely on plane. And then I can bring it up a little bit, but it starts to cavitate pretty quickly. Um, to me, that tells me the motor might be up a little too high. And I might actually need to drop it down one mounting hole. But I'm going to play with it a little bit more today and see how that goes. Overall, the seats and steering and all that, that worked out great. The one thing I may do is raise my seat up slightly or perhaps just get a cushion on top. I do sit a little bit more low than I would prefer to be able to see over the front of the bow. Again, totally usable, but in the future I may add a, a one inch or two inch lift to the whole seating platform just to give me a little bit more visibility. Um, things I need to add to the boat, I'm finding out really quick. Um, obviously I knew I needed to add some rod holders. My side mount storage here worked great. There is no issues with this whatsoever, uh, but I definitely want 
want some type of vertical storage that I can set a rod just temporarily. I knew I was gonna need this, but I wasn't sure where I was gonna put that yet. Um, aside from that, I definitely need a little bit more storage in here, more quick storage. So what I'm thinking about is getting some kind of pouches that I can put under the side console on the wall there. Just a place to like throw my phone and, and just various things like that, some pliers and, and whatnot. Um, I'm also gonna be putting some storage under this seat here. I've got great area to do it. It seems like a waste of space to not put something. So yeah, that's definitely gonna be some more storage there. Aside from that, everything is working really, really well. The mount for the fish finder does wobble quite a bit when the engine's running. So I may look into ways to firm that up, but that also might get corrected with the uh, firmer mounting of the engine. So like I said, a couple things that I'm monitoring, nothing's not working, no leaks. There is zero water in the boat and we got done for the day. I'm really happy to see that. So I'm gonna keep monitoring that while we're out there. But overall, really great trip. So I'm gonna get back out on the water today. We're gonna to do a lot more fishing, more just fun and, and enjoying the boat. I'm gonna test out the motor some more, watch my RPMs to see how we're running there. Might need to be doing a prop change in the future. We'll see how that goes, but overall, a lot of fun. Yeah, look at that. a little bit more about these float pods this is me on the very back of the boat we've got both the batteries full gas tank the engine and myself who's a good amount of weight pretty much all the way is on the back of the boat and look how high we're floating still i can walk all the way to the back edge here we are nowhere near the water line absolutely perfect